Today we're taking a look at these NCAA B matches, which are happening on Tuesday, November 23, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified, as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Cincinnati vs. Arkansas. The 13th ranked Arkansas Razorbacks improved to 4-0 on the season after defeating the Kansas State Wildcats, 72-64, last night. Arkansas was solid defensively against Kansas State and was able to hold on for the victory after going into halftime with a 42-24 lead. Arkansas shot 36.2% from the field and 13.6% from beyond the arc while holding Kansas State to 37.3% from the field and 13.6% from beyond the arc. Arkansas won the turnover battle by a 15-12 margin and pulled down 41 rebounds in the victory. Leading the way for the Razorbacks was Audi East Tony who had 13 points, 9 rebounds, and 1 steal. Our first betting advice is to pick Arkansas Razorbacks minus 5.5 Cincinnati ranks number 109 in Ken Palm's adjusted efficiency ratings. The Bearcats have not turned the ball over very often, ranked number 16 nationally in turnover rate. They rely on their defense, which is number 43 in adjusted efficiency. Cincinnati has held its opponents to the sixth worst effective shooting percentage in the country. Guard Jeremiah Davenport has been the team's leading scorer so far, he had 19 points on 5 of 12 shooting against Illinois. Guard Mike Saunders was the top scorer on Monday, pouring in 20 points in 24 minutes off the bench. They are number 25 defensively, so they are a very balanced team. Arkansas sits inside the top 75 nationally in experience, but it will be at a height disadvantage on Tuesday night. The Razorbacks had five plays score in double figures on Monday. Forward Connor Vanover and guard Chris Likes both scored 14 points in the win. Guard Audi East Tony pulled down a team-high nine rebounds. The Razorbacks shot just three of 22 from the three-point line and 21 of 58 overall. Our second betting advice is to pick under. Gonzaga vs UCLA. The UCLA Bruins have already faced an early test this season and passed with flying colors, upending Villanova 86-77 in overtime in an early season litmus test. The matchup with Gonzaga will further test the medal of last year's surprise Final Four team. The Bruins have returned all the key pieces from last year's squad and have sights set on a national championship. Head coach Mick Cronin knows his team still has a ways to go to get to their tournament level of last season, but has enjoyed watching the progression as pointed out after their recent win over North Florida. Our first betting advice is to pick UCLA Bruins. Where were you when Gonzaga and UCLA tore down the house in the Final Four back in March? I was standing in front of my television screen in complete awe of the drama that was ensuing. I'll tell you one thing, my next door neighbors didn't get any sleep that night. They also bring solid defense to the equation, which is something this UCLA team hasn't faced yet this season. Opposing teams are averaging 39.7% shooting and 61 points per game against the Zags. I'm not saying they can stop the Bruins, but if they can slow them down and force turnovers, the game could quickly tilt in their favor. Our second betting advice is to pick over. Quick reminder, BetUS is a platform that offers betting on all major sport and horse racing leagues. It has slots, table games, blackjack, and a variety of other casino games. All of the major US leagues are available for betting, including the NFL, NBA, NHL, MLB, and PGA. In addition, BetUS allows wagers on esports, Olympic events, soccer, cricket, boxing, cycling, and many more competitions. Join BetUS now using our link down below and get 125% cash back bonus on your first deposit on the sportsbook after you open an account and deposit using our link and use our promo code HIGHSTAKES. UC Davis vs Sacramento. The Aggies love to move the ball up the court quickly and are 30 road in the country in pace. 
they can rebound well, and are top 50 in steals as well. Their problem has been shooting. They average 42.5% from the field, 26.6% from three, and 69.2% from the free throw line. That has earned them a 246 rank in offensive rating, and a 52.3% true shooting percentage which is 223rd in basketball. Their defense and rebounding should be able to keep them in this game, but they will need their shooting to improve if they are going to truly be contenders this year. Our first betting advice is to pick Sacramento State. Sacramento State averages 10 fewer points per game than their opponents on Tuesday night and will have their work cut out for them. They rank 311th nationally in field goal defense and 323rd in assists per game. The lack of flow on offense is bound to change eventually, but they can't be giving away wins this early in the season. Bryce Fowler leads the way, averaging 15 ppg, but only has one other double-digit scorer who is able to join him. Zach Chappell adds in 10.3 ppg, but the Hornets are desperate for a third scorer to help balance the offensive load. Fowler also needs to vastly improve as the team's primary ball handler, as his 2.5 app won't cut it as the season progresses. UC Davis's offense finds themselves right in the middle of the road scoring-wise, averaging 74.3 points per game as a team. The major concern heading into Tuesday night is that they rank 333rd nationally in three-point percentage, while Sacramento State has one of the best three-point defenses. Christian Enigma leads the way at 17 ppg on the season and is joined by Elijah Pepper at 16.3 ppg, right behind him. Our second betting advice is to pick under. Notre Dame vs Chaminade. Notre Dame is averaging 65.6 points per game. They scored 59 points in their last game, making 38.9% of their field goals and 33.3% of their three-pointers. Cormac Ryan led the way for the Irish with 16 points and 5 rebounds. Paul Atkinson Jr. finished with 13 touchdowns and 5 rebounds, while Dane Goodwin added 10 points and 3 rebounds. Notre Dame has done a better job defensively, giving up 58.3 points per game. They gave up 62 points in their last game and will need to continue playing well if they want to get the win. Chaminade is averaging 62.6 points per game. They scored 49 points in their last game, making 29.1% of their field goals and 23.5% of their three-pointers. Roswell Watkins led the way for the Silver's words with 13 points and 8 rebounds. Zach McIntyre finished with 9 points and 5 rebounds, while Liza Kamaral Arthuri added 9 points and 3 rebounds. Chaminade has played well defensively, giving up 61.6 points per game. They gave up 73 points in their last game and will need to play better if they want to get the win. Our first betting advice is to pick Notre Dame Fighting Irish. For the season, the Silver's words are putting up an average of 62.7 points per game. Chaminade is pulling down an average of 41 rebounds per contest, while they are dishing out an average of 11 assists per game. The Silver's words are giving up an average of 61.7 points per game this year. Isaac Amaral Arthuri leads the team with 11.7 points plus 4 rebounds per game. Sawyer Storms, 7.3 points, and Zach McIntyre, 9.7 points, are capable secondary options offensively. Paris Taylor, Kevin Creamer, Roswell Watkins, Tredden Christensen, Jaciva Villa, Joseph Smoyer and Kobe Young are key players in the rotation for the Silver's words. Chaminade is shooting 41.7% from the field as a team on the year. The Silver's words are knocking down an average of 4.73 pointers a night, while shooting 25% from beyond the arc as a team. Chaminade has struggled at the free throw line, converting just 59.6% of their attempts this season. Our second betting advice is to pick under. 